and welcome to our lesson on the surface area of cylinders. So to find the surface area of a cylinder, we need to see it as a net. If you imagine the curved surface area around the height is unraveled to make a rectangle. The width of a rectangle is given as 5 centimeters, but the length of a rectangle is formed by the circumference of the circle. And the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So the width of our rectangle is 2 times pi times the radius of 4, which is 8 pi. And then we have our circles on top. So we have a circle on the top, which we can put here, and a circle below it, which we can put here. The area of each circle is pi r squared. And the radius is 4. So this will be pi times 4 squared, it will be 16 pi. And the area of a rectangle is going to be 5 times 8 pi, which is 40 pi. So the total surface area of a cylinder would be all three faces added together, which is 16 pi, which is the top circle, plus the bottom circle, plus the rectangle connecting the two. So the multiple of pi, the total surface area is 72 pi. We can approximate this as a decimal to 226 centimeters squared. Okay, let's try question B. So to begin with, we can unravel the curved face to make a rectangle. The length of a curved face is formed by the circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi r. The radius is given as 6, so 2 times pi times 6 is 12 pi. The height of the circle forms the width of a rectangle, which is 3 centimeters. And then the two circles on the top and the bottom have an area of pi r squared. And we know the radius is 6, so this will be 36 pi, as it will be on the bottom circle. The area of a rectangle is 3 times 12 pi, which is 36 pi. So the total surface area of our cylinder is 36 pi times 3, which is 108 pi centimeters squared. As a decimal, we can approximate this to make 339 centimeters squared. Okay, let's try a couple more questions. So do you want to try and work out the total surface area of the cylinder in question C? By pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question C, we have our rectangle, which is formed when we unravel the curved surface area. The width of our rectangle is 2 pi r. The radius is 5 centimeters, so the width is 10 pi. The height of our rectangle is given as 8. And the two circles, which form the top and the base, have an area of pi r squared. And the radius is 5, which is half a diameter. So this will be 25 pi. So in total, we have the two circles, 25 pi, plus the area of our rectangle, which is 80 pi. So the total surface area is 130 pi centimeters squared. We can approximate this as a decimal as 408 centimeters squared to three significant figures. Okay, do you want to try question D by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question D, I'm going to consider each face in turn. To begin with, I have the bottom face of the half cylinder, where this length is going to be double the radius, which is 16, and the other length is 4. 
the front and the back are formed by two semicircles. So we can put them together to make one circle where the radius is 8. So the area is pi r squared, which is 64 pi. The area of the curved face is going to be half of the circumference, which is pi r. And the radius is given as 8. So this will be pi times 8. And the width is still 4. So the area of a curved face is 32 pi. And the area of a base is 64. So when we add all of these together, we have the base, 64, plus the front and the back semicircles, plus the curved surface area, which is 32 pi. And in total, this is 96 pi plus 64 centimeters squared. At the decimal, we can approximate this to make 366 centimeters squared. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.